Let's say you're a bee and you're flying near a sprinkler that shoots water in every direction. But instead of just being a normal bee and chilling, you like to live your life dangerously and you want to fly as close as possible to the water while still not getting hit. How would you path in order to accomplish that? In other words, how would you obtain this gorgeous pink curve that beautifully envelops the water jets? Well, as it turns out, this curve actually has a name. It is called the safety parabola. And the reason for that is that it divides space into two regions, one that is not safe from getting hit by the water, and the other that is. And while this is quite a difficult problem, its solution is actually very simple and elegant. So let's go for it. We begin our analysis by looking at a single stream of water. Let's assume that this stream is fired at an angle theta to the horizontal and with an initial speed v0. We also assume that each little bit of water in the jet behaves like an independent projectile, which is very reasonable. We start from the equations that describe the horizontal and vertical movement of a projectile as a function of time. If you don't know these equations or would like to see how to derive them, then stick around until the end of the video when I'll go over it. The first thing we do is take the equation that describes the horizontal position x in terms of the time t and flip it to obtain t of x. Then we can substitute this into the equation for y of t to obtain y of x instead. Now we're not talking about time anymore, but rather about the trajectory of the projectile. If we plot this, we obtain the shape that a jet fired at this angle theta will describe. If we vary theta, we see that the trajectory changes accordingly, and we notice that there are some points that when we vary the angle theta, the point is intercepted twice. Meanwhile, there are some other points that when we vary the angle theta, the point is intercepted only once. And finally, there are points that no matter what angle we choose, the point is never intercepted. When we overlay the safety parabola, we really begin to understand what's going on. We realize that points that are inside of the safety parabola are intercepted twice, points that are exactly on the safety parabola are intercepted once, and points that sit outside of the safety parabola are not intercepted at all. So if we want to obtain the safety parabola itself, all we have to do is find all the points that are intercepted exactly once. To do this, let's imagine we take an arbitrary point, x0, y0, and sub it into the trajectory equation. Now, we're not dealing with a function anymore. x0 and y0 are just numbers, and the expression is simply an equation for theta. When we try to solve this equation, then, we know that if the point we chose is in the green region, we're going to find two solutions for theta. If it's in the pink curve, we're going to find exactly one solution for theta. And if it's in the red region, we're not going to find any solutions at all. It all comes down then to solving this equation for theta and seeing how many solutions we obtain. But since theta doesn't appear by itself, but instead inside of trig functions, what we're really going to solve for is for a theta's trig functions, and then we're going to take an arc tangent or an arc cosine to obtain theta itself. Here then we have to make a choice. Either we write cosine in terms of the tangent and then solve for the tangent, or we write the tangent in terms of the cosine and then solve for the cosine. In this case, it turns out that the first option is much better, because 1 over cosine squared in terms of the tangent is actually pretty neat. And after making this substitution and rewriting the equation in a very suggestive manner, we see that we end up with a quadratic equation not for theta, but for the tangent of theta. To solve this equation, we can just use the quadratic formula, and by graphing it, we see something very cool. We see that if the point is outside of the safety parabola, then the curve never intercepts the x-axis, indicating that there are no solutions. If we move closer to the safety parabola, then the curve gets closer to the x-axis, but still never intercepts it. But then, if we move inside, we can now see two intercepts, which correspond to the two solutions. And if we walk exactly on top of the safety parabola, we can see that the curve stays tangent to the x-axis, intercepting it exactly once. So now, our job here is basically done. All we have to do is force this equation to have only one solution. And the way to do that is by forcing the discriminant to be equal to zero. 
then subbing in the expressions that we have written down for a, b, and c, and isolating y, we've solved the problem. This is the expression for the safety parabola, and it is simply beautiful.